How's everybody doing in Antioch, Mongolia? So the past last week we had us uh, bad news for, for Mongolia, right? And we encourage you, and we also just uh, open that you guys also are not captivated by fear, but instead just trust God and just allow, allow Him to uh, use this time. And we thank you that you are here with us on Sunday to hear the sermon. So her name is uh, Shagai and she lives with uh, uh, her husband and her newborn son and also, also <laughs> and my name is Ashton or you can call me Ayo and I live with my wife and my beautiful daughter. Yeah, recently both of us we had a, a, had a newborn babies in our family, so. So today we're going to be studying from the book of Nehemiah. Maybe you might think that Nehemiah is a, is a prophet, and because the book is so, uh, book is a uh, short. But Nehemiah was, was not a prophet. Uh, actually, he was a, he's really a, he did really something really important in the Bible, but he is not a prophet. And in today's language, you can almost view him as a project manager. Solomon хааны дараа Израиль болон Юдэ гэж хоёр хуваагдсан. Now since, uh, since King Solomon's uh, death, uh, Israelites they divided into uh, two kingdoms. За тэгээд Юдэ буюу Урд хаант улсан Бабилоны дарлалд орж Израильчууд цөлөгддөг байгаа. And from there as time goes on the, the both the kingdoms they, they were uh, exiled into Babylonians they were conquered by Babylonians. And while they were in uh, exile in Babylon, Babylon, actually a uh, king of Persia came and uh, took over Babylon. 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 <laughs> Now, the king of Persia actually allows uh, some of the Israelites to go back to their homeland to, to build the temple again. It's been two, 20 years since they're actually coming back to rebuild the temple. And from here, that's what we're going to take off uh, from right from this uh, uh, event. Nehemiah was actually the, the king of uh, Artaxerxes, uh, his cupbearer. And uh, actually he was while he was in the presence of the king and, and as he was the cupbearer, he was uh he heard about how Jerusalem, how there was no wall, all the walls was broken down, all all the the foundation was broken down and, and he became really saddened by it. Yeah, the old Han Hirum Gitman Gitman, but the Tohan Hotting, I used to bet like or to down or shouldn't have no sick, but the Hank Chit. And the reason why, because for for a nation that doesn't have no walls, I mean because walls actually then was uh uh Saying that city is protected, that, that people are, are safe. And one example we can see, an uh, example of a wall is the Great Wall of China. And the Great Wall of China. 
And Nehemiah goes to a king of Persia and asks him, like pleading with him that he will, that king will allow him to go back to his home country to build the walls because his uh, Jerusalem's walls and, and city was broken down. The Persian ha un tuni rostig in sansat to shuro to skubur, han berhat, the hardig in berhat hirte buch, metrezer and hangage, book to shuri in the wood, tuni yutagin, the hirchas on him that you slim the art. Now, when uh, King Persia, he not only just uh, allows him to go, but he actually uh, uh, tells him that he will help him with the, with the materials and everything that's needed to build a wall. He also puts him as the, as the chief of, of, of Judah. So, in get Nehemiah man, Tony Trashuti, Putig and Dachstadt, Yuslimi Hanhid Mikberch Lehut, it's Razin Hochin Dash Note, Hurstergil Tunes Nutten, Unix on Sat Age, Titneria to Book to Lugan Rakach, Ormar Rakach. Now uh, Nehemiah he takes up all of the Israelites and goes back home and starts to rebuild this wall. And whenever when the the enemies of Israel from back then to now they when they heard of it they were in fear and they were jealous and they wanted them not to succeed. That is another bit of subtlech ishtilman. Han baton hasan yak berch dosakhi uman Nehemiah yak yamar prashil to khalsi. To unik Nehemiah yach tabt khalsi tir tuha bukteri subtlechun. Now today, the, the passage of scripture we're going to look at actually uh, talks about uh, the ending of the uh, of, of the rebuilding of the wall and what the uh, Nehemiah and the Israelites faced during that time of completing the wall. Now let's all look at the scripture that we're going to read today or focus on today. Nehemiah chapter six, start from verse chapter six to uh, chapter seven, verse four. Yeah, let's read Mongolian first. Let's read Mongolian first. Now, I'm Arab, Hungi Shemt, Bosom, Pusat Desnut, Man Midilhit, Sambazat Kishemder Nadat Zachtilgen. Irno, Anagin Talk, he fit him to the old strike. Give to the Namak Hortlak Sanatebe. Timus beat hidden row, each narigil gage, be a row at the Hijoha Bogot, a chit Би үүнийг орхиж та нар очихоор энэ энэ ажлыг зохицох хэрэг юу байна вэ гэж хэлвэлөө. Тэд надад ийм утгатай захтал дөрвөн удаа илгээсэн бөгөөд би тэдэнд нөгөө л утгатай хариугаа өгөв. Англиар маш их. When the word came to uh, Sembala, Tobiah and Geshem the Arab and the rest of our enemies that I had rebuilt the wall and not a gap was left in it. Though up to that time I had not set the, set the doors and the gates. Sembala and Geshem sent me this message. Come let us meet again one of the villages on the plains of Ono. But they were scheming to harm him or harm me. So I sent messages to them with this reply. I am carrying a great project and I cannot go down. Why should the work stop while I leave and go down to you? Four times they sent me the same message and each time I gave them the same answer. За нэгдүгээр ихлэлт гарч байгаа Самбалат, Тобия, Гишемнер болвол Израильчууд анх амлагдсан нутгийг эзлэн авахд хөөн гаргасан тэр хар үндэстнүүдийн хүмүүс ясан. Тухайн үеийн одоо Персийн хааны дор бүсийн захирагчнар хийж исэн. So the people that's mentioned here is, uh, in verse one is Sembala and Tobiah and Geshem. These are these are these are the people who actually uh, was the rulers of that region that 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 was set set there, and they were actually the en- enemies of, of Israelites in the in, the, in Jerusalem. Now, during that time, Nehemiah was uh, actually the the leader of the of Judah. За тэнгүүд энэ Самбалат гишэм Тобия нар яадаг вэ гэвэл хотоос гадна хүрээд ирээ. Бүгдээрээ уулзцгаа гэсэн байна. See uh, Samblab and Tobiah and Gishet they actually uh, calls out Nehemiah and say, "Hey, just come out to outside of the wall and let's just meet together." Ихтэй а Нехемия болвол энэ үед түд тэнэрийн цаад санааг мэдчихсэн учраас ямар ч эргэлзээгүйгээр үгүй би маш чухал ажлыг хийж байгаа учраас энэ ажлыг орхиж чадахгүй очихгүй гэж хэлдэг. So Nehemiah knew knew the schemes of what they were planning, or how they were trying to hurt him or and destroy the work. So he knew, he, he said, I have important, more important work and I'm not going to come down. Mm-hmm. So Nehemiah, he's, uh, uh, let's, take, let's look at the, just, uh, the framework, the, the context is that Nehemiah, he came to 
back to Jerusalem because he had the favor of, of the king of Persia. And also, he, uh, I'm pretty sure he didn't want to have a governmental conflict, a political conflict. So he probably tried to figure uh, the situation out with these enemies, right? But what happens when, when, these, when this uh, uh, message is sent to you over and over again? Maybe some people might say like, man, like if someone begs you to come and then or uh, asks you to meet, you might say no to the first, second time, but you might get tired and you might say, you know what, let's just meet this guy and go, go up to him. But here, that didn't happen. Here we can see that Nehemiah was uh, uh, stood firm on, on his answer and, and not going. Yeah. Uh, verse 5, it says, Then the fifth time, Sambala sent to his aid to me with the same message. And in his, in his hand was an unsealed letter in which was written, It is a portal among the nations. And Gishum says that it's true, that you and the Jews are planning to revolt. Therefore, you are building the wall. Moreover, moreover, according to these reports, you are about to become their king and have even appointed prophets to make this pro proclamation about you in Jerusalem. There is a king in Judah. Now this report will get back to the king. So come, let us meet together. So the basically the letter being that it was unsealed letter means that anybody who read it can uh, anybody who see it they can read it. It was an open open letter. And the purpose of this letter, letter that was sent by Sembala is that he's trying to make uh, put fear in, in, in the minds of the people there in, in Jerusalem and the Jews that, that you know that they were, there's a danger that they were facing bigger consequences with the king. And he and the enemy even try to work on 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 Nehemiah, saying that oh you're gonna become their king. No, you say that uh, they say that you're gonna become their king and and proclaim yourself as the king, and that 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 was set to trip up Nehemiah. So we are going to Nehemiah in this not much. That's the Ochazgar tunzo person then in the outside case. Now what we can see here is that the enemies of Nehemiah and the, and the Jews, they're, they were slick and they were, they were cunning and they were, they, were, they were, in a sense, they were really smart in how they approached, how they tried to tempt uh, the, uh, Nehemiah and the, and the Jews. So this is basically what and in the same way, we ha also have an enemy now, is is, is the devil and and his his fallen angels, right? And what they try to do is the same thing, but even worse off than Sembalat, their their temptation and their schemes are more evil and more cunning. And here Nehemiah is still solid on his response that he will not go. And Nehemiah responds, I sent him this reply. Nothing like what you are saying is happening. You are just making it up out of your mind or out of your head. They were all trying to frighten us, thinking their hands will get too weak for the work and it will not be completed. But I prayed, now strengthen my hands. 
энэ захидлынхаа цаа дутгыг нь ойлгож ирсэн учраас үүнд үүнээс болж урам хугарахгүй байх үднээс бурхан минь биднийг тэнхрүүлээч гэж энэ зүйлд залбирлаар хариулсан байна. Nehemiah knew the schemes right he knew what they were planning and not to not to come, uh, get into this fear or or be weak in, in the sense he prayed to God say strengthen now strengthen my hand. Яа тэгвэл тухайн үеийн израильчууд үнэхээр Солонгон хаан Давид хааны үеийг шиг тийм хүчтэй байгаагүй. Үнэхээр тэд нэрийн хувьд бол энэ их дарамтанд ор хааныг усан байгуулна гэдэг нь маш одоо их айдсыг дагуулсан том ажил байсан. Now the the setting in this time is that the the Israelites they were not as strong when they were with Solomon with King David and actually really weak and they were they were actually exile and they were really weak so these uh, pressure of of the surrounding nations would have really uh, put fear inside the people then Нэг өдөр би гэртээ хориогцсон Мехабтабалийн ач Делаягийн хүү Шимаягийн гэрт орход тэр Бурхны өргөнд сүм дотор уулзтай. Сүмийн хаалгуудыг ха учир нь тэд чамайг алах гэж байна. Тэд чамайг алахаар шүү нэрэн гэв. Гэвч би начин хүн зухтаах гэж үү. Начин нэг нь сүмрүү ороод амиа авч чадах уу? Би орохгүй гэж хэлэв. Тэгэхэд би бурхан түүнийг огт илгээгээгүй. Харин Тобиас сандлаат нар түүнийг хөллөлсөн учир тэр миний эсрэг ишүүзүүлсэн гэдгийг ойлгоё. Yeah, says one day I went to the house of Shemaiah, son of uh, Deliah, the son of Mehetabel, who was shut in his home. He said, let us meet in the house of God inside the temple and let us close the do- uh, temple doors because men are coming to kill you. By night, they are coming to kill you. But I said, should a man like me run away or should someone like me go into the temple to save his life? I will not go. I realized that God had not sent him, but that he had prophesied against me because Tobiah and Sambalat had hired him. За энэ удаад Нехемиягийн даасныудын бүр арга нарийсч бурхны нэрийг барьж хуурамч их сүзүүлэгчээр дамжуулан түүнийг бүр гимн үгэл үйлдвэрлэхийг оролцсон байна. Гэр we see the how the enemies even uh, become more uh, vulnerable and he's saying that oh let's uh, let's use God's word and and let's let's uh, use false prophets to try to bring him in try to learn him in. Гэтэл Нехемия энэ нөхцөл байдалд ч гэсэн дээ үгүй би хаашаач явахгүй Би гим нөгөл үйлдэхгүй хэмээн итгэл дээрээ бацхсаж чадсан. And here we can see that Nehemiah stood firm in his faith and did not want to sin, sin before God and, and, and given up into the sphere and he did not go. За бидний хувьд одоо яг Nehemiah шиг амендмент тулчихсан нөхцөл байдал ирэхэд гим нөгөл үйлдэхгүй байж одоо тэр сорилтыг даван гарч чадах болов уу? And sometimes and now, now applying to for us right in this, in this time is uh, when we are facing the same situation, uh, can we overcome this in, in the same way as Nehemiah and trust God? Now here, right, the, the enemies of Nehemiah was using in a sense that the name of God, they were trying to bring him down, trying to tempt him, trying to lure him in, right? In the same way, our enemy, the devil, he uses the, God, he, he uses the word of God and also he, he uses our misunderstanding of God to uh, bring us, uh, to lure us away from God. And just like Nehemiah, how he can see through this attempt, uh, this, these lies, but what can we do to see through the lies of the enemy? Бид бурхны үгийг маш сайн мэддэг байх юм бол хөдөл хөөрөнгийг хараад ялгаж салхаж чадна. Чадна. Now for us the main thing is we we must know the word of God. Not only know but live it out where where when we know it we can uh, expose any lie because we have the truth of God in us. На цааш нь уншиг намайг айлгаж ийм аргаар нөгөл үйлдвэрлэх гэж тэрээр хөдөлгөцсөн бөгөөд ингэснээр намайг буруутгах муу нэрийг тэд өгч чадах байлаа. Өө бурхан минь Тобиас сандлаат нарын үйлдсэн бүхний дагуу мөн өшөөзүүл ишүүзүүлэгч эмхтэй Нодия бас намайг айлхах хийх хичээж байсан бусад ишүүзүүлэгчдийг санаач. On verse 13 he uh, Nehemiah said he had been hired to intimidate me so that I would commit a sin by doing this and then they will give they will give a bad name to discredit me. Remember to buy and symbol up my God because of what they have done. Remember also the prophet Noedaya and how she and the rest of the prophets have been trying to intimidate me. За 14-р хэсэгээс харах юм бол 
энэ хүчл ээл нь хэмээ дайснуудаа хараасангүй одоо гимтэх гэж оролцсонгүй харин үүний оронд энэ бүх хүмүүсийг та санаачээ та шүтрэг хэсгийг тогтоогоч хэмээн урханд даатхан зэлгэрсэн байна so here what we see uh, in verse 14 is how Nehemiah did not uh, scream at the enemy or try to fight the enemy, in, but he uh, put it dedicated all to God and said, God, you be righteous in this, uh, just, uh, 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 judge justly on this situation. Yeah. <laughs> Ингээд хэрмэн 52 хоногийн дотор илүү сарын 25-нд баригдаж гүйцлээ. Бидний бүх дайсан үүнийг сонсож иргэн тойрны маань бүх үндэстэн үүнийг хараад тэдний ихэнсэг харц доошлав. Учир нь энэ ажил бурхны маань дэмжлэгтэйгээр бүтсэн гэдгийг тэд ойлгожээ. Verse 13 says so the wall was completed on the 25th of Elul in the 52 days. When all our enemies heard about this, all the surrounding nations were afraid and lost their self-confidence because they realized that this work had been done with the help of our God. In this verse, we see that Here, the, the wall was completed and was, what's amazing is that it was completed in 52 days, a wall that was surrounded the whole temple of God. Yeah. Тэгээд үүнийг нь харсан дайснууд нь болох хэрэг. Үнэхээр энэ зүйл бурхнаас ихтэй юм байна. Израилчууд бурхныхаа ачаад энэ одоо ханыг босгон байгуулж чадсан байна гэж бурхныг бурхнаас имээсэн байна. The here the enemies saw that they knew that this had to be God and they, they knew that it was the God of, of the Israelites and they were afraid and they were seeing how this God is continuing favors upon the Spanish people. За, өрөвшлөлөд 17-аас 19-р ишлийг харсан. Мөн тэр өдрүүдэд Юудагийн сурвалжтнуудаас Тобиад олон захтал орчиж Тобиагийн захтлууд тэдэнд ирэв. Юун хэмээвэс тэр бэр Арагийн хүү Шиканаагийн хүргэн байсан бөгөөд түүний хүү Ехохананы Берихиагийн хүү Мишулами охинтой гэрлсэн тул түүнтэй тангаргаар холбогдсон хүн юудад олон байжээ. Түүнээс гадна тэд миний дэргэд түүний сайн үнсийн тухай ярьж байсан ба. Үгсийг минь түүнд мэдээлж байв. Тэгээд Тобиа намайг сүрдүүлэхээр захтлуудыг хэлхээ. Verse 17 reads also in those days, the nobles of Judah were sending many letters to Tobiah, and replies, replies from Tobiah kept coming to him. For many in Judah were under oath to him, since he was uh, son-in-law to Shekaniah, Shin- son of Ara, and his uh, son Jehohanan, and had married the daughter of Meshulam, son of Berechiah. Moreover, they kept reporting to me his good deeds, and then telling him what I said. And Tobiah sent letters to intimidate me. <laughs> Юудагийн сурвалжтнууд гэдэг нь бол тухайн үед Иерусалим хамгийн нөлөөтэй хамгийн нэр хүндтэй тийм хүмүүс байсан. Now here the, the, it says the nobles of uh, Judah right these people were actually uh, the really uh, high authority people in those times. Гэтэл энэ хүмүүс бурхны хар үндэстнүүдтэй ург төрлийн холбоотой байж болохгүй гэсэн тушаалыг нь зөрчиж гэсэн Тобиатай алхийн ург төрлийн холбоотой болчихсон байсан. But here they were they were uh, not found the word of God when because he was these people were actually uh, connected with the people uh, the enemies as mentioned in uh, Tobiah was one of the enemies and they were connected with them and intermingled with these people. За гэтэл тэр одоо Юудагийн сурвалжтнууд буюу одоо Нехемиагийн талын хүмүүс хүртэл Нехемиад нөлөөлж Тобиагийн тухай түүний бодлыг өөрчлөхөөр янз бүрээр оролдож байсан байна. Here we can see that the, the, the some of the Israelites, the people that was supposed to be uh, helping out uh, Nehemiah was actually trying to make a better image of Tobiah in the mind of uh, Nehemiah. Энэ явуулганд нь ч гэсэн дээ Нехемия бууж өгөөгүй. And even in, in this moment, Nehemiah did not uh, uh, give in. За бидний хувьд тийм бид нарийн хүндэлж явдаг бүр магадгүй итгэгч хүмүүс ирээд тийм бид нарийг бурхны ажлаас хүндэрүүлэх гэж сатааруулах гэж оролдох юм бол бид нар ямар хариу үйлдэл үзүүлэх болоо. Тань ч харж одоо олж харж мэд тань ч чадах болов уу нэхэмээ шиг. In in our times right what if like Christian brothers or sisters came to us and 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 do they do do them the enemy might even try to trap us and lure us away from God and again 
do we have do we have the wisdom to recognize that and see see that beforehand үүнийг харах юм бол нэгэмээгийн дайснууд түүнд бүр дотроос нь нөлөөс гэж оролдож ирсэн нь юм аа бид тэгээ бидний дайсанд явуул ч гэсэн тийм өнөөдөр ашиглаж байгаа Now here the what we what we can really see is how in Nehemiah's time that even that even Nehemiah's own people was was trying to bring down Nehemiah's work and in the same way today uh, the devil and uh, and our enemy he would try to use other brothers and sisters and their words to try to uh, trip us and try to lure us away from God. За үргэлжлүүлээд сүүлийнхаа ихчлүүдийг харцгаая. Хэрмийг сэргээн босгож би хавцуудыг нь байрл болж хаалгчд дуучд левичүү тамлагдсны дараа би өөрийн дүү Хананыг цайзын жанжин Хананы хотой хамт Иерусалимыг хариуцуулахаар тавив. Учран тэр итгэмжит хүн бөгөөд босод олон хүнээс илүүгээр бурхнаас имэдэг нэгэн байв. Тэгээд би тэднэ нар хуурч халуу шаттал Иерусалимын гурдан хаалгуудыг бүү онгоолог. Хаалгчдыг харуулт зөвсөж байх үед нартай таалгуудыг хааж төвчих. Мөн Иерусалимын оршин суугчдаас харуулт гаргаж нэг хэсгийг нь манаад нөгөө төлийг нь өөрийнх нь байшингийн өмнө талд харуулаар томилт гэв. Хот том бөгөөд уудам харин түүн дотор хүн нь цөөн байшингууд нь сэргээн босгодоггүй байв. Now in uh, the last of his verse let's read on on 7 verse 1 it says after the wall had been rebuilt and I had set the doors in place the gatekeepers the musicians and the levites were appointed. I put in charge of Jerusalem my brother Hanani, along with Hananiah, the commander of the citadel, because he was a man of integrity and feared God more than most people do. I said to them, the gates of Jerusalem are not to be opened until the sun is hot. While the gatekeepers are still on duty, have them shut the doors and bar them. And also appoint residents of Jerusalem as guards, some at their posts and some uh, near their own houses. Now the city was large and spacious, but there were few people in it, and the houses had not yet been built. За энэ хүн Нехемия хотын хан хэрмийг байгуулж дуусаад одоо зүвт хүмүүсийг хотын өдр зүвт хүмүүст хотын өдрлгийг өгөөд ер нь л өөрийн ажлаа энд дуусгасан байна бид нар өнсөн ажил дээр Нехемия finishes work as he as a as the wall is built and the doors are set in place and he also appoints uh, uh, the people of God the, the people that, that trust God and people that were uh, wise and they put them as as charge of, of the walls За хэдүүлээ Нехемиягийн дайснууд яаж түүнд нөлөөлөх гэж оролцсныг дахин нэг хураангуулъя. Now let's look at uh, how the enemies of Nehemiah try to trip him and let's try to look, uh, let's look over them and apply to our life. За эхлээд өөрт нь шууд хандан хит хэдэн удаа урилга явуулж үзсэн. Now first the, the, the enemies they, they sent uh, their direct uh, messages to, to uh, Nehemiah three times. За Израилчуудын дунд айцыг төрүүлж тэдрийн тухай одоо Нехемиягийн тухай худал цуурхлыг тарасан. After that they, they sent out a, a, a false accusations of Nehemiah to the people and try to put fear in the people of God. Тэр ота Нехемиягийн одоо Персийн хааны итгэлийг алдахгүй байх юмсан гэсэн тэр гэсэн дээр нь ч гэсэн дээ дөрөөлж ховж юу тарасан. They also played and and try to play in, a, in the mind of Nehemiah trying to accuse him of, of going against the, against the king of Persia who was in authority ruling over all that region. And they even tried to stop the work of Nehemiah with, with, uh, with false prophets and false, word, false uh, words that, that, that was supposed to be from God. За хамгийн сүулд болохоор Израилийн элитүүд буюу одоо сурвалжтнуудыг дотроос нь Нехемиагийн эсрэг ашиглаж түүнд нөлөөлөх гэж оролцсон. And then the enemy tried to use uh, inside people that were inside uh, uh, that was uh, the Israelites themselves and tried to bring down Nehemiah. Гэтэл энэ болгонд Нехемия урилганд нь хариулаагүй, айгаагүй, гим нүгэл үйлдэгүү бөгөөд санаа бодлоно огт хуйраагүй байж чадсан. And even in this moment that Nehemiah's mind was not changed, he didn't give in, give in to the temptation, he didn't uh, give in to the fear. Instead, he just uh, the, trusted the word that he received from God. And now for you, for you, whoever was hearing this, like how, what kind of attitude do you have towards your service and, and towards your, your relationship with God? Айгүй илдэг байх гал сонсон болгондоо итгэхэл өрлөг болгонд заа гэж хэлэх алтгүй маа. We can't we, we don't 
just because we're Christian, we, we don't have to say yes to everything and, and uh, be always just this kind of response to everything. Instead, we, we need to be firm in the, in the word of God and what he said to us. Yeah, and because you are called by God and he has an amazing plan for you, that a purpose and a place just for you that nobody else can do, and he has that for you. Maybe you might think that, oh, I don't really have enemies just like Nehemiah, the, the, the three people that was mentioned, the Sambala and those people. Maybe you might think that, oh, I don't have those enemies, so I can just do this thing tomorrow. Now, in First Peter uh, chapter 5, verse 8 to 10, it says, Be alert and a sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little, little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Maybe, like, maybe you might think that, you know, as we looked at Nehemiah, how, how the enemy, like, tried to tempt, uh, tempt him in so many times, right? You might think that, how many times do I have to go through temptation myself, right? And the answer to that is what, what we need to get out of this is that uh, the word of God says that until like the coming of Christ, until the com coming of his kingdom, we're going to be going through some things. So we must be uh, close to God and be sensitive to the, listen to the Holy Spirit and just be sensitive to everything that, uh, all the wisdom that's, uh, that God has provided for us. Responsibility, responsibilities that he has given us and for us to stand before him and say like just like Nehemiah uh, like all the enemies that tempted us we, we can't say like oh this guy tempted me or this happened and that happened Jesus does not accept any excuse on that Now in uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 10, 30, uh, verse 36 to 39, it says, You need to pers persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised for. For in just a little while, he is coming, will come and will not delay. And, but my righteousness one will live by faith. And I take no pleasure in the one who shrinks back. But we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, destroyed but, but to those who have faith and are saved. Yeah. You hear, uh, Nehemiah, and just like Nehemiah, how he was a, uh, able to resist the enemy through wisdom and through a strong foundation. And in the same way, we, we get our strength from God and, and through prayer and through sitting before him and we receive the, the strength and, and the able, ability to 
to overcome sin, to overcome temptations. And let's all pray right now. Thank you, Father God. Father, we thank you that, that through your word you are with us even throughout this time of, uh, of fear and things going on because of the sickness and, and, and things that's out there in the world. And Father, help us in this time to, to, uh, to experience your, your, your presence, to experience your, your, your love and throughout this time, even in, the, in, in our homes, as we are sitting in our homes, I pray that you be just close to us and remind us. Father, we also ask for your, for your protection. As you have protected Mongolia thus far from in 2020, uh, we just pray that you continue to uh, give us the, the, the power and, and the wisdom to continue to fight this. And I pray that you will just protect us and give, give the, the medical staff and everybody that's involved with the coronavirus who's trying to fight against this. I pray that you will give them wisdom and give them the, the strength, Father. Father, we also just ask for your wisdom and, and just like Nehemiah, how he was able to resist the enemy, I pray that you will give us the wisdom and give us the knowledge, Father God, to stand against the enemy and, and, and to persevere and to be just a, a found in you, a strong foundation in you. Father, we ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for being with us. And we'll meet you guys on next Sunday.